the bone microphone. Here's some up close pictures. It's um it's everything I actually wanted from a microphone. Um, what we've got here is a a nice bullet style design but it's really it's a little bit smaller than the one I was used to beforehand and it's so it's the, well, look at the cup. I can actually get my hand right the way around it, and it, it's allowing me for um, well, expressive wah wahs while well, while cupping a microphone. <laughs> element in this um, another great feature about the element it's squeal resistant or anti-feedback right next I don't, can you pick that up it's right on top of the speaker hello <laughs> Accommodating the Bad to the Bone microphone range, and um, they're doing these. Um, basically, this is from a different model. They do two different models, so um, this one won't fit my Bad to the Bone, but they actually make them so you can sit the Bad to the Bone microphone inside and basically play as it's in front of you. So uh, you, you know, if you get your tripod stand out, sit it into that well, like so. Bear in mind, this needs a, well, it needs the bad to the bone version. This is for my other microphone, which I'll demonstrate later. So there you go. It goes like that, and then you can just have it in front of you and play and get more hand technique. And it does pick up from about three to four inches away from your face, which is perfect for hand wire bars. So yeah, all in all, they got a, a nice, great range and little extras. You know, get and obviously the the front cover screen there, or the the front grill, and um, customize that, customize the shell. If I'm right, um, there might be a couple of different versions. So of variations. final thoughts and or oh, verdict, be it. <laughs> you get this nice bag as well, which is um, well, that's its little home. I just do this every night or day and on top of my case and I've not had one little scuff or scratch on the front yet so that's that's perfect <laughs> look wise couldn't be any happier it, it's shiny it's highly polished the volume switch nice just where I like it in between and um, it's look it, it's colored really well there's no blemishes scratches the copper piece just sits nice and um, the wet oh I'll just turn my amp off a sec. The way the switchcraft works, it's and it's in. And it's back out. It's it's really nice and snug. And it also helps if you if you've got big feet, clumsy, stand on your lead and whoop 
you're not going to snap anything, um, which happened to me on that past microphone. Um, I snapped the, the actual lead that way and ruined it with, with the way this is set up. It's straight out if you stand on the lead by mistake and no damage to the mic and you pick it up, plug it back in and away you go. So couldn't be any more happier than, well, pigs in walk. <laughs>